fellow bakers and welcome back to another episode. What have I got in store for you today? Yes, it is another one from the Christmas and Thanksgiving line. It is cranberry sauce. So this is a classic. This has been made for years and years and years and years. All I've done is swap the sugar for erythritol um, and less orange juice, more zest. So everything you need is in the description for this recipe. And it's a very simple, easy recipe to make. Now this recipe can last for about up to a week in the fridge. Uh, it can be frozen as well as the rest of the sauces that I've made, um, which is ideal for portion sizes. The entire batch has, where have I got my notes? Four, about 14 grams of carbohydrate. So each portion works out about two grams of carb, which is absolutely perfect for your Christmas dinner. Um, I'm a big, big, big fan of cranberry sauce. I always have been. Um, so my portion sizes for this are quite large. Please bear in mind you can make the portion sizes even smaller. Just remember to divide the whole 14 carbs by how many portions you think you're gonna get out of it. Um, and again, freezing it in ice cube trays is the perfect way to make a portion. Um, I find when I put it in my ice cube trays, which are slightly larger than a normal ice cube, but um, they work out about one carb per ice cube portion, which is great. So I'm not gonna hang about, we're gonna get straight into it. Uh, like I said, all the information you need is down below. So let's start. So, oh, one quick tip. If you don't have powdered erythritol, again, as always, stick it in your blender and powder it up. And the reason for this is with this cranberry sauce, if you're not gonna use it the day that you make it or the day after that you make it, you might find that it crystal the erythritol will um, crystallize, um, which is not the nicest. So if you use the powdered, buy the powdered or make your own powdered, it won't crystallize the same as the granulated. So let's crack on. What do we need to do? We need our saucepan and we need to turn that on. Then we're gonna use frozen, mine are from Asda, um, I don't know if you can see on the back, but the carbohydrate in these is 3.4 per 100 grams. So it's absolutely perfect for this recipe. Um, and what we're going to do, if I can pull the top off, we're going to dump the whole lot into the saucepan. Then I want you to add the water. Check that all in. I also want you to add half a teaspoon of ground ginger or you can grate fresh ginger into this. So a quarter teaspoon of ginger, that's just to give it a hint. Do not put the vanilla in just yet, that's the only thing I don't want you to put in. And I want you to put the zest of an orange. Now I've picked uh, a relatively small orange because I want to keep the carbs down. Normal camp cranberry calls for the juice of an orange. I'm not using the juice uh, because obviously the juice is full of sugar. So I'm gonna use the zest and the water to make my own orange mixture. Um, so I will come to you as soon as I've grated this. Tip with the uh, zesting, if you go past the orange part, you're gonna get straight into the orange obviously, but you don't want that white pulp, that's really bitter. You just want the orange from the top. Okay, let's just scrape all of that lovely zestiness out of there. Add that to the bowl. Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do is while this is on high heat, I want you to bring this up to start to simmer. You will hear that the uh, cranberries start to crack and what we want to do is we want to keep it going until they stop cracking um, so bring it up to a boil then turn it right down to a simmer and simmer for about 10-15 minutes you will notice it all start to come together um, I'm now just going to add my final ingredient which is my powdered erythritol and I'm gonna stir all that in. And I will start to talk to you about pectin in a moment.
Okay, so while that comes up to temperature, I'm gonna have a quick chat with you about pectin. What is pectin? Well, pectin is um, something that's within fruits um, that helps to make things like jams and preserves, etc. You normally find it more in the berries than you do in other fruits. Um, cranberries actually are really high in pectin. Um, it helps form the. Let me grab the. Let me grab the explanation I've written down. Okay, so <laughs> again, what is pectin? I'm now back. So pectin is used in the application as an emulsifier or gelling agent, thick nut stabilizer for fats and sugars or sugar replacements um, that you normally find in jams and chutneys. There we go. So like I was saying, in cranberries, there is a lot of pectin within that me the cell membrane of the actual fruit. So this will form its own jelly. We don't need any gelatin at all in this. Um, so yes, that's just a little tip for you. Now we will touch on pectin in future videos because excuse my phone, uh, we will touch on pectin in future videos because we will be making sugar-free jams um, in another episode, so that's, that's that one. Okay, so now that's coming up to a boil, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat down and we're going to leave that to simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. So I will either do you a nice lovely little uh, sped up montage or I'll cut straight to it and I'll be back to you in 10 to 15 minutes. So. Okay, so it's been about 10, 12, about 12 minutes actually, um, and I've come back now to show you the stage that we're at. So on the close-up camera, you can see that a lot of those cranberries are now gone. They've turned into the mush, but there are still some full, whole cranberries still left in there. Now, some people like to have the, the, the lumpier or more fuller-bodied cranberries still in their sauce. I don't. I like mine to be a nice mush, <laughs> um, jelly mush. I don't like it to be too lumpy. I, it, don't ask me why, it's my personal preference, each to their own. So you have two choices. You can take that off now um, and leave that, set it aside to cool, pop it into a container, into the fridge or into the freezer. Or you can continue like me and I'm going to give it a few more minutes just until all of my cranberries have gone and it's reduced a bit more and you will find it becomes more of a, uh, a jelly sauce than a runny sauce. And that is my main recommendation. It concentrates the flavour and it just tastes divine. So I'm going to give this a few more minutes, like I say, until all of my whole cranberries have popped and gone into the, mix, into the sauce. And when that happens, I'll be back to show you that. Um, so I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, so I have left my cranberry sauce in there a little bit longer. I've got it probably another four or five minutes. Uh, as you can see from the close-up, most of the um, cranberries, oh, with the, as you might be able to see with the close-up, fingers crossed that footage works, uh, most of the cranberries are now gone and it is definitely thicker. It's starting to take the form more of a sauce or a jelly. Um, so this is when it's time you take it off the heat we let this cool down to room temperature and then you uh, sorry actually one step I've missed before you let this get to room temperature you want to add a teaspoon of your vanilla so let's add that in now the vanilla is optional but I just find it helps bring out those other flavors give that a stir in just to make sure that vanilla is all the way through. It smells so divine and Christmassy in here. Okay, so now you've added your vanilla, that is it. You're gonna leave that to get to room temperature um, and then you're gonna put it into, um, you can show you some examples. I have little jars if you want to give them away as gifts. I have big jars to pop into the fridge ready for the Christmas dinner table or your Sunday roast. You can also put them into the ice cream tray. Um, you might be able to see I've still got mint sauce left in there from 
uh, where I've made that before. Um, so yes, you can put these in. Now obviously, like I said before, if you make one portion in an ice cube tray, I think I said it was one carb, it's actually less than one carb per ice cube tray, because I normally have two and count one carb. So. Now, if you have any ideas about what you can use, I can't get my words out, about what you can use this sauce recipe for, please leave a link, uh, please leave a comment down below. I told you, I've not got my teeth in. Leave a, a comment in the box below um, and I will make sure to give that a little bit of a read. And if you've got any questions or other recommendations, please hit me up on the social medias that you can see along the bottom of the screen now. Um, Failing that, I believe that is it for this week. I hope this video hasn't gone on too long. I'm going to try and edit nice and short for you. Um, and on that note, I will see you next time.